Good morning, everyone. We are continuing on with our money saving tips series. Today, we are going to hit on why the stores that I choose uh, save me money. So the first thing you need to know is I am a true believer in if I can't purchase it at Aldi or Sam's Club, I typically don't get it. Um, I have found that Aldi carries some great products and so today that's what I'm going to share with you is um, the reasons I shop at Aldi and some do's and don'ts of Aldi. So the first thing I want to touch on is the lower prices. Um, if any of you have ever been to Aldi, you know that their prices are significantly less. Um, I did, when I first started shopping at Aldi, probably about two years ago, I did um, a price comparison. I went to Meijer and I got 10 items and then I went to Walmart and I got the same 10 items and then I went to Aldi and got the same 10 items. At Meijer, the price for those 10 items, I think it was like milk, bread, eggs, cheese, um, some chips and a few other things. At Meijer, it was $40. At Walmart, it was $35 and at Aldi, it was under $20. Um, milk at Aldi right now, their prices tend to fluctuate a little bit more um, than what Meyer does, but not um, not a ton. So right now, milk is 97 cents at Aldi. I ran into Family Fair to pick up a gallon of milk because it's right down the street, and it was $2.99. I couldn't even do it. I ended up walking out. Um, Meyer, I just checked Meyer milk prices, and it was over $2. So... Milk alone, you can save a dollar a gallon if you go through it a week, um, go through a gallon or two a week. It's definitely worth checking all the out. Milk or um, eggs right now are 37 cents. I know they're pretty cheap everywhere right now, but Aldi is pretty consistent. Um, a box of macaroni and cheese for Kraft is over a dollar. You can get them on the 10 for 10 sale at Meyer and at Aldi, they're 39 cents. Um, we haven't really found anything at all these that we don't care for. Um, my husband says the Doritos, you can't think of them as Doritos. You have to think of them as nacho flavored tortilla chips. Um, Cheez-Its taste the same. The vanilla wafers taste the same. Cereals, for the most part, taste the same. Um, cheese. A pound bag of cheese at Meijer um, is over four and a half dollars and at Aldi it's two ninety nine dollars always. Um, what I like about Aldi is they don't typically run sales. Every once in a while, you'll get an even better deal than the good deal that you typically get. Um, but at Meijer, I feel like you have to watch the sale ads and buy what's on sale. Um, where with Aldi, you don't really need to do that. You know approximately what your grocery bill is going to be in before be at before you go in because their prices stay the same. Um, with that, the reason that their prices can stay so low is because there aren't really any perks. Um, if you don't bring your own bags, you can purchase bags there. They're six cents for paper and 10 cents for plastic. Um, but just know that you're not going to get any perks. There's not going to be somebody bagging your groceries for you. There's not going to be, um, free bags at the checkout. You need to bring your own bags. They're going to toss everything back into your cart. You have to bag your own groceries. There are boxes, um, the shelves, everything that they have on the shelves are in the boxes that they were shipped to them in. This is how they can cut costs, meaning they need less employees, um, and it takes employees less time. They rip off the front of the boxes and things go in there. With that being said, you can grab those boxes off the shelf and use those to carry your groceries out in. Um, and the other thing that I really like is when I go to Meijer or Walmart, um, I tend to get sucked into the sporting goods or the toys or the movies or the clothes and end up adding to my grocery bill just by um, going into those departments. At Aldi, they do have um, a half an aisle of products that um, they have some clothing, they have some um, home goods stuff, but not enough that you're going to get sucked in and even those prices um, are fairly low. I got Sage a few shirts last year um, that were $1.50, um, which is a great deal for a brand new shirt. So um, those are my reasons I shop at Aldi. Now, if you have not been to Aldi, I'm going to share a few tips with you. Um, it can be intimidating. 
um, to go in there the first time. So number one is you need to have a quarter. Um, the carts, you won't find carts all over the parking lot because the carts cost a quarter. You put your quarter in, you get your cart, and when you leave, you put your cart back and you get your quarter back. So just making sure that you have a quarter. Um, at any given time, you can stick your hand in my coat pocket um, or check in my wallet and there will be a quarter in there. Um, I have an Aldi quarter in all of my coat pockets. That way I always have one on me. There's always one in my car and in my husband's car um, just to make sure that they're there. But again, you don't have to worry about carts being out in the parking lot. Um, and a lot of times people will trade with you if you're finished. Um, somebody will take that before you get back up to the front with it. Or the same respect, you can do the same thing if you're unloading kids. A lot of times people um, will give you their cart if you just give them the quarter. Um, try not to go against traffic. Our Aldi um, by my house is set up. You go in, you go snake up and down the aisles, and that last aisle dumps you out at the checkouts. Um, so this means the flow of traffic is all going the same way. So just be careful that you don't pass anything. It's not the end of the world if you have to go back, but it is challenging to go back because typically everybody is going the same way um, down the aisle. And I said before, with the no perks, there's no bags. So just making sure that you bring your own bags in. You can um, purchase bags at the checkout if you're going in for a few things and end up leaving with way more. Um, but just knowing that you need to bring your own bags with. So I'm hoping that this helps. And if you haven't been to Aldi, um, make sure you go in and check it out. They have great produce. They have great meats. They have great... Um, selections. So have a great day and tomorrow we will talk about my next money saving tip. Thanks for joining me.